Hello guys, today I will answer another question from YouTube and this comes from Sarko Salar about overriding the exception message. For example, default API exception message if model is not found is this. And this is kind of wrong for many reasons. It's not ideal. It's not ideal for humans like to read that query results for model. Also for API client, the model order doesn't really say much. And even for security reasons, with that message, we expose that we have Laravel project, which in itself may be a security issue because the more hackers know about our system, the more vulnerabilities they may find, especially if it's older Laravel version and not patched maybe, so stuff may happen. So how to override that message and how to customize it however we want. And I will explain that with my example. So here I am in my Postman client. You can use whatever API client you want or even the browser. And I call this API endpoint, this URL showing the user. And if I accept application JSON, this is the result when the user is found. But what if it's not found? Send, and we have an exception. And here, important thing, in the Postman, for example, or in your API client that you test, if you don't pass accept application JSON, then you would get HTML error, which is kind of wrong. So if you are testing the API endpoints, please provide accept application JSON because I've had a lot of questions from you guys in the past. Why do I see HTML result from API endpoint? So this is the key header parameter accept application JSON. And now let's go back to our actually message. No query results for the model. And here you get two different results if you have debugging true or false enabled in Laravel. So this is what you get on your local or your dev environment if debugging is true. So you get a lot of details about exception files and a lot of other symphony stuff. So it comes from symphony even. So if you leave debugging true on your production server, this is a huge security issue. So first thing, my first advice is .env file debug true should be only on your local server. And if you have false on production, so imagine we launch that on a live server, we send and we get only the thing that we need. So we don't get a huge security hole, but this is still a bit of security hole, I would say, because from app models user, I can guess as a potential hacker that this is a Laravel project. And then I can check which Laravel project versions may be vulnerable with some, I don't know, bugs or unpatched stuff. And then I can attack the server potentially. So let's override this one. And there are a few ways because there are a few ways how to get the user. For example, we have route resource and we have only one show method in the user controller. And here you can get the user with two ways. First, route model binding like this, or you can pass the ID parameter like this and then do something like find or fail. But the result is the same. In any case, if the user is not found, then the same exception will be thrown. So let's try this way and let's see if we get the identical error send. Yep, identical thing. So whether we use route model binding or find or fail, it's still 404 code not found. And you can change that first by manually overriding something in the controller itself. So for example, user find, and instead of doing or fail, it may be more convenient, but less customizable. If you want to customize it, you do if not user, then you do whatever we want. For example, abort 404, and then the message is user not found. That's it. And let's try to do that. Send, and you get just user not found the same 404 code. So for API clients is very important to have the correct status code 404 is great. And then you don't expose anything else. And the message is clear both for humans and for automated systems of API clients. So that's one way. But this makes our controller code longer. And also it doesn't work with route model binding. And I do like route model binding. So let's return to that. So user and then you cannot do anything like that. You just return user or somewhere deep inside, you need to override that. And that's somewhere deep inside, there's a special class to handle the exceptions in Laravel, any exceptions. It's called handler with app exceptions handler class. 
And if we scroll down, we have a method called register. And here we can override any exception with similar syntax. By default, it is reportable, but we need to do a similar renderable. So we need to render the exception renderable. Then instead of throwable, we need to specify our own exception. And what exception do we have? Let's change the debugging to true for a minute. And I will show you the exception. So now we get the error. The message is this, and exception provides the specific class, which is not found HTTP exception. And this is exactly what we need to override. So I copy and paste here. Instead of throwable, we have not found HTTP exception. Let PHPStorm help me with use adding automatically. And here we can do whatever we want. Like for example, return, we need to return something. Response, JSON with array of, for example, message or error equals object not found, just general object not found without any mentioning of models or Laravel or anything. And second parameter is status code, HTTP status code, which is really important as I mentioned previously, which is 404. And now if we return to the API request, we send it again. And now we have message object not found, which is secure, it doesn't mention any models, and it still has 404 status code, which is great, exactly what we wanted. So this is how we can override the exception. But the problem here, another problem here, is that not found HTTP exception may happen also for the web requests. So what if we have user controller in the same project, not from the API, but from the web? So for example, what if we have something similar in the routes web, also resource for user controller, which also uses route model binding, but returns the view to show the user. Otherwise, it throws the same HTTP not found error. And in the browser, if someone uses the URL with non-existing user, they would have JSON, which is bad because visually people should see 404 status page like not found, not the JSON, right? So to prevent that from happening, we have in our handler, we can check also if request, and where do we have the request? Request is the second optional parameter, which we don't need to pass, it would happen automatically. So request, and then we can check if the request wants JSON, there is a method for that. Only then we return the response like this. Let's try it out now. For the web, we have now grade 404 page, and for the API call from the postman, we still have object not found. So this is how you can check if it's an API request or not. Also, another way is to have request is, for example, API slash star, basically anything if you have the prefix API for all your requests. So let's try that. So we have API users, then it gets overridden. And otherwise, if we don't have API here in the web, we have 404 page. So there are two ways how to check if the request is from API. So this is an example how you can override the API exceptions with a few lessons along the way about generally how exceptions work. And if you want more videos like this one about Laravel, random tips, subscribe to the channel. Also comment on the videos because sometimes I pick the comments to shoot next videos to answer those. And if you want to support my mission of daily videos on this YouTube channel, check out one of the three products that you can see on the screen now. Quick Admin Panel Generator, Live Wirekit Set of Components, or my 20 courses on Teachable Platform. And see you guys in other videos.